Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And as I always say, I hope you're having a wonderful day. The God of the Bible is in charge, my friends, and I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. And uh, there's a passage of scripture that I want to read to you because I want to jump into to something. I want to mention something. It was, I, I said this to the Lord today. As a matter of fact, God said it to me and he said, include this scripture, use this in the presentation today and remind the people that I'm in charge and nothing, listen to this, nothing catches the God of the Bible off guard. He knows and all we got to do is trust him and keep our hand in his and live for him. And my friends, he will take care of everything else. The Bible says this in Luke's gospel, chapter number 21 and in verse nine. But when you shall hear of wars, and listen to this, commotions. Be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. The end will not be at hand. Now, you have to admit, we are living in a time of wars and commotions. The war between Russia and Ukraine. Oh, my Lord, the, the, the war that's taking place between Israel and Israel being surrounded by her enemies, Hezbollah, and Hamas, and uh, uh, so many other enemies surrounding Israel, Iran being that state sponsor of terrorism, and our government dragging its feet with its support uh, for uh, uh, Israel. I tell you, it's amazing. And then when you see what's going on on the college campuses and uh, the tumults, the commotions, the commotions, all of the, everybody is uh, 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 so upset today. We see what has happened. Uh, we have a presidential uh, candidate who has had two attempted assassinations on his life. The mayor of uh, New York is under investigation and has been indicted. You know what's going on here in the state of North Carolina with uh, our Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson with the charges that have been brought before him, these alleged charges. We see what's going on when you look at the television, you turn on these campaign commercials. It's amazing to me uh, the thing that are going on. We are actually in a day where we're calling right wrong and wrong right. We're putting light for darkness and darkness for light, bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We're in a day now where it's no longer wrong, ungodly, nor wicked to have an abortion. It's wrong, ungodly, and wicked now to try to prevent one. It's no longer weird, crazy, silly, dumb, and odd for a man to uh, uh, pretend that he's a woman, but it is toxic and horrible if a man is masculine. Oh, my Lord, everything is turned upside down. And if you do not have a grasp of the scriptures, let me tell you, these things will drive you out of your mind. It will make you crack. It will cause you to say, oh God, what's going on? And you'll ask that question as though there are no answers. Well, Brother Wooden is here to tell you. I'll tell you what's going on. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. Everything Jesus said would go on. It's what's going on. And the Lord is going to do for you and for me what he promised that he would do if we trusted, trust him. He said in his word, do not be terrified. That is, don't fall. Don't run away. Don't a preacher. Don't change your preaching. Christian, don't alter your Christianity. Believer, don't question that belief, but stand on the word of God and you will see that the God of the Bible is large and in charge and he is in the blessing business. Now, listen, I'm excited. Uh, Brother Gary Short on the screen, we're in the midst of our 8th Women's Convention of North Carolina 3rd Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction.
And what an awesome, awesome time we're having. Just on last night, our supervisor, Mother Beverly DeJanae, delivered the word of God with power and authority. And I've already heard from many of you who have texted me and communicated with me and let me know how you were blessed by hearing the woman of God. And uh, the opening night of Wednesday, well, the opening day service, Wednesday, this yesterday morning, kind of getting my days mixed up here. Yesterday morning, my wife, Pamela, oh my, people just blew my phone up. She preached, she taught, she ministered the word of God, and she let us know in no uncertain terms that now is not the time to be foolish. Dealing with those five versions, five were wise and, and five were foolish. And, and then our supervisor came back and she dealt with Zacchaeus and she asked us, uh, how is, how uh, will preaching about a little short rich man uh, bless the women in the women's convention. And you know what? She showed us exactly how. Just as Zacchaeus made haste and came down and rushed to Jesus. And be, and even before that, the, 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 the effort that this rich man went to, to see Jesus. He climbed the sycamore tree. He was short. Uh, he was challenged. He was short in stature. He climbed the tree. He positioned himself to see Jesus and his efforts paid off. And when he saw Jesus, Jesus said, uh, make haste and come down. Because guess what? Today, I'm going to abide at your house. Well, when you combine these two messages, they let you know that, uh, hey, keep your oil. Keep your oil. The Lord is coming. But we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. We don't know the time. But the Lord expects the believer to maintain a state of readiness. First Lady Wooden did an awesome job making that point, And Mother did an awesome job uh, telling us and showing us how if you put forth the effort, if you reach out for the Lord, the Lord will reach out to you. He will respond and give you the blessing that you seek. As a matter of fact, he gave Zacchaeus more than Zacchaeus even uh, planned for. Zacchaeus just wanted to see him. He didn't know he was going to get a conversation and that Jesus would actually uh, attend and go to his house. So you never know. You don't know what the Lord has in store for you. Just seek him. Live holy and keep that oil. All is a symbol for the Holy Spirit. My friends, if you hadn't been filled with the Holy Ghost, why don't you ask God to fill you? He'll do it. He'll do it even while I'm talking because Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. Brother Gary, I'm feeling something here. So now tonight, 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 yours truly. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will be delivering the word of the Lord. Uh, normally, the, uh, I, I preach on Friday night, but because I am in a campaign, we switched some things up and uh, uh, mother was so kind as to work with me because this convention is hers and uh, I want to, I'm here to work with her and work with the women's department and God is doing some wonderful things in our department and you've heard me say this before, but if you notice every time I've said it, my words prove to be true. God has given me a word. I can hardly wait to deliver what the Lord has given me to share with the women of God, to share with the saints of God, to share with the people of God this evening. Our service starts at 730 and I want you to come out and receive your blessing from the Lord. Uh, I understand uh, the weather may be a little inclement, but I think we're going to be all right here in Raleigh. And if all you have to do is contend with rain, turn your windshield wipers on, drive like you got some sense, and come on out to church, and God's going to bless you real good. Now, tomorrow night, oh my, and she's here already. That great woman of God, uh, Supervisor Diane Bogan, supervisor of the Great Lakes First Jurisdiction, Bishop Michael Hill is her prelate. She is here. She's in Raleigh. She has arrived. And 
every time God blesses her uh, that she takes the time to come down here and work with us and preach to us, she knocks a home run. God has, has greatly anointed this woman of God. We love her. We love her. We praise God for her. We celebrate her ministry. And she is going to be the keynote speaker this Friday night. Tomorrow night, she is going to be preaching right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, and all roads lead to the Upper Room. Uh, it will be the culmination. It will be the grand finale of the our eighth women's convention. You know, the Lord has brought us from a long way. It's been eight years, eight women's conventions that the Lord has blessed me uh, to serve over as, as prelate, uh, our supervisor. We have a fantastic relationship. What a tremendous woman of God she is. And I'm telling you right now, God is going to bless us real good. He blessed us Wednesday morning, Wednesday night. He blessed today in the day session. And tonight I'm armed with a word from the Lord. And I believe that is going to be a blessing to you. But I'll tell you right now, I warn you, it'll be a challenge also. Praise God. You know the kind of messages God give me. You know, I call it grown man preaching. I'm, I'm not given, uh, for some reason, Gary, don't give me those little cute ones filled with pretty talk. And I'm not asking God for that because that's not who I am. I'm asking God to bless me to just preach his truth. It doesn't have to be fancy. I don't need a word salad. I don't need to sound like um, a professor. Uh, uh, I, I'm not trying to dazzle you with oratory. I want to touch you with God's truth. And if I can do that, then I've done my job. And we've been touched. We were touched yesterday morning with God's truth. We were touched uh, last night with God's truth. The saints were blessed today with God's truth. And God's going to bless us tonight with his truth. And you know when uh, Supervisor Bogan dons the sacred desk on Friday night, we will hear God's truth. So I'm going to cut this short because I got to run home and come back and be ready. <laughs> <laughs> for the night. Now, if I sound excited, I am. It's an exciting time. Yeah, it's a time of commotion, but Jesus said, the end is not yet. Then saith he to them, nation shall rise up against nation. We're seeing that. And kingdom against kingdom and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. Listen to this. And famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands. Look at this. Oh, look at this. The, the, the immediate circumstance. Jesus said to them, now before all these things in the last days, he says to the, to the saints during that time, the immediate circumstance, he said, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you and deliver you uh, uh, up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn, it shall turn to you for a testimony. Do you see this? And it shall turn to you for a testimony. And I know what it's like to be persecuted by the government, to be persecuted, to get messages from the government and to see how government now is challenging our free speech rights. These are the immediate things that we're dealing with uh, uh, as we're dealing with these other things that speaks to the last days. But I thank God that that which the devil has meant for evil, God says it's going to give us a testimony. My Lord, I feel like preaching right now. Now I must admit this will not be what I'm going to preach about today, but it's amazing. The very thing that Satan wants to use, uh, Gary, I think I'm getting a little too demonstrative here. Let me calm down. The very thing that Satan wants to use, oh man, the very thing that Satan wants to use to, to, to bring you down, God says, I'm going to use that thing 
to, to be a testimony. You'll be able to tell them that the Lord brought me out and the Lord set me free. Hallelujah. So I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. But join me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tonight for. It's been a long time since I've done that. Bible study. <laughs> Bible study and Bible preaching. There is a word from the Lord and I can hardly wait. So I'll see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ headquarters for North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction as we are enjoying and feasting during the eighth annual Women's Convention, the Women's Conference of the North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. God bless.